We're Shane Hildreth. Glad to be by your side today. It's gonna be a fun night. Oh, it's gonna be a fun night. We're ready. We're ready to see this. These two. These two teams come at it, battle it out. For one team, it could be winner take all tonight. The other team can have a chance for another. For another game. That's correct. The Pirates are here through the winners bracket. So if they win this game, it is over. However, with the Astros coming through the losers bracket, if they win tonight, they will play again tomorrow night. So, winner take all for the Pirates, or the Astros can prolong this one more night. Oh, it, it, this should be one exciting game. Right now, they are introducing the Pirates, and momentarily, we're going to do the, the national anthem. So if so, just bear with us. We'll be right back. And you're listening to Vibe Live. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So on the mound tonight for the Pirates is Tommy Croswell. Tommy threw 22.1 innings this year with a 1.343 ERA. Uh, pretty great. 26 strikeouts, only 12 walks, and only five earned runs. Uh, he started three games this year but appeared in 14. Tommy, uh, he's got a powerful fastball, and uh, he's going to come. he's going to come right at you. Oh, I, I am waiting to see that. And also some fun facts about Tommy. His nickname, they call him Tommy Boy. And he had all of his baby teeth until recently. He's lost about one every three days. Now, that seems kind of <laughs> interesting. <laughs> That's a fun fact there. It would be. It would be great if he would spit one out while he was pitching, right? Kind of intimid <laughs> intimidate the batters. Yeah, and also some other fun facts about Tommy Boy. He loves to eat bell peppers like an apple. His favorite movie is All American, and his dream is to one day play in the NBA. Well, let's hope he uh, focuses on baseball tonight, not basketball, right? Oh, you got that right. <laughs> hey, yeah, looking around the infield, looks like they got Walker Hot Sauce Adams at third base. They have uh, Jack Maggi at short. Pierce Dennis at second, Hudson Hamilton at first, and Cooper Hutchinson is behind the plate. What I'm taking a notice uh, before we start we start the game, the Astros seem to be a bit bigger in size compared to the Pirates. That may be uh, an advantage, maybe a not. Maybe it could, it could hold them back uh, for this game tonight. They are. Uh, they're a big team. They're an incredible hitting team. Um, both of these teams were 5-6, and six, respectfully, uh, during the regular season. But the Astros have really turned it on uh, throughout the loser's bracket. As I mentioned, they've played five games in the last 10 days compared to the Pirates' three games. Um, and they've been hitting the ball. So 
we should expect uh, quite a few fireworks tonight. With this breeze that's coming in like around before before the first pitch at 7 o'clock, it seems pretty nice and it's some good weather for some Little League Baseball. Oh, it's great weather. The Pee Wee game this afternoon at 1 o'clock was a bit hot for us, but oh, yeah. uh, it, it's perfect right now. Yeah, the, there's no, I mean, there's, it's cloudy, very cloudy. There may, there, there may be some chance of rain, but it just feels like it. Oh, I've been checking the forecast and the radar. There's no rain tonight, as, as nope. they say. No, it's going to be a perfect night <laughs> at a perfect ballpark. Post Oak Little League is a unique Little League. It's a community. It's a family. You saw throughout the day today, kids watching games, um, parents, people cheering on their friends. It's, it's an incredible community. And the juniors game just ended. And for those kids over there, that's the last time they're going to touch the field here at Post Oak Little League. So two years of Pee Wee, two years in minors, a year in majors and juniors. And they're off to high school, so. Oh, yeah. that's. I remember whenever I used to play uh, Little League, and it was it, it was some good times, but I only did like the Pee Wee games. Let's go, Tommy! And um, I've been I've been walking around. And I've been noticing some of the familiar names that that they have for the team. So that brings back good memories when I was little. Oh yeah. Well, and the umpires tonight are wearing the Southwest Region hats hey, from bud. the 2018 Post Oak right Little League team that made it all the way to the. Right here? It's in the dirt, so I was just going to put it in here for you. No, hey. <laughs> Grandje. Young Grande is trying to move our microphone around. <laughs> well, it looks like we're waiting on the umpires to get set. Kids look ready. Coach Adams is pacing the field back and forth. Back for the Astros, number seven, Conrad Bennett. Yeah, Conrad's one of the best 12 year olds out here. He hit 489 this year with a slugging of 778. Really had a great season. Wow. Those stats sound amazing for a 12 year old. Let's go, Tommy! Yeah, Conrad, one of the few kids out here who have hit a home run this year. So, hitting from the leadoff spot, it's always, uh, always sets a good tone. Yeah, and he has 22 first bases, 14 second bases, uh, five, three, like, triples, I should say, two RBIs, and nine runs. Those are some pretty, pretty good stats. Yeah, he's a, he's a good all-around athlete. Uh, when he's not playing baseball, he's also the QB on their SPMSA team. You know, as I mentioned, the community around here is great. I think what we've had about six different dads and coaches come by and say hi. All wanting to get their shout out, <laughs> Mr. Goforth with the Rockies. <laughs> Tommy! As I look around and I see the R flying for the Pirates in the in midair, I'm just looking how 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 great the sky is for <laughs> for the baseball for tonight. Yep, the Pirates have already lost a balloon, but it's an R, so maybe that was on purpose. <laughs> Arr, maybe. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah, 
right, not sure what the delay is here, getting the game going. As we wait on the actual Ash, the the Little League Astros, I have, I have the update for the actual Astros, the Houston Astros. They're up four to one on the at the ending of the second inning. There you go, beat those Rangers. <laughs> Hopefully, they're trying to go for the sweep after yesterday's ten to two win, if I'm correct. Well, now it looks like we're going into all post oak right. Little League parents and coaches. We were waiting on Josh, which is no shocker. We love you, Josh. Let's go, Those are the sounds of some proud parents. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. We go to first pitch. Hits the ground. We got a first ball. The other one hits the ground, ball two. I wouldn't be surprised if they are strategically pitching around Bennett right now. As as you mentioned, he's the first one hey. to hey. hit Tommy. a home run. Go, Maybe that is the strategy for the Pirates. Ball. Yep. Yeah, three one count. Ball four as he takes his base. Drew Friedel's coming up next. Drew hit 435 this year. Good athlete, primarily catcher, also pitches. Checking his stats also, he has two home runs. And his favorite food is steak. And they got me in the move for some steak. Right. Let's go, Tommy. Yeah, if there's another ball in the dirt, I wouldn't be surprised if Bennett steals right here. Back him up. It goes over. He goes for third. Back him up. There you go. He goes from first to third, and then you called it. <laughs> yep. He's quick. He's really good about recognizing the ball going in the dirt or over the head. He's a good ball player. 1 0 count. Right. It's a good cut. Come on, 
Tommy! Oh, that's you, that's you! I think that's the first curveball we've seen tonight. That's why Drew is so far ahead of that one. It's a pretty good hit it's as it goes out for a foul, but lands on the on the minor field. Come on, baby. Yeah, one, two, count. Oh, Strike go. three, our first that's out one. of the game. That's one. Hey, yo, that's one. Yo, yeah, Drew's a good fastball hitter. That curveball just upsets the timing a little bit, so that next fastball is a little bit faster to the eye. Steve Wright! Let's go, Tommy! All right, up next is Hunter McClett. Hunter hit 468 this year. Come on, baby, inside. Oh, that's pop up! That's, that's first, that's Hudson. Come on. Nice! There you go, Tommy. Got him to pop up. All right, two, two quick outs. No outs, man on third. Now there's two outs. Just like that. It'd be tough for the Astros to leave Conrad sitting there. Up next to that, we have Gordon Gordy Young. That's a nice nickname. Yeah. That's pop up. He's getting him to pop up. Let's go, Tommy. Seems like the Astros' bats are. Ready for the balls. Yeah, they know time is going to come at you. So you can definitely tell the Astros' game plan is to swing early and swing often. Oh, that's not There it goes. There it goes. He goes go first, it, runs, goes over to second. Get it in. Tries to go for third. In. Yes, he does. Oh, back up. He goes, goes over, Tommy. but he stays. Got that was a triple. A nice rip to right center field, line drive. Like we said, Astros are going to be aggressive. Great triple. Got that run home. Draw the first points of the game. Astros 1, Pirates 0. Lewis Brazelton at the plate now. Lewis at 383 this year. He's uh, also starting tonight. So he is their go-to ace pitcher. In the quarterfinals game, he threw six scoreless innings to beat the White Sox. Wow. Oh, foul ball off his helmet. Let's go, Tommy! Lewis also broke his hand earlier this year, and he's still still dealing with it, but it hasn't affected his game. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, with the 2-2 two -two count, it seems pretty nice. There you go. Here goes Come for on. the hit. There you go! Hey, let's go, Pirates! Ball in play, roll over to hey, first. Man. Yes, it does. Let's but go. right now, we're going to take a quick break as they switch sides. You're, you're listening to Vibe Live. Let's go, seven! I do like that pirate flag. The, the flag, he just ran. Wait, where is it? Where's my mom's flag? Hey, dude. Let's go, Saint! Where's my mom's flag? Are you eating a burger over here? Come hey, on, Saint! You don't have much hey, on that you burger. That seven pirate that make it or what? No ketchup, no mustard, no lettuce, no tomato. I was going to get a pirate jersey with drunk Jerry for dad over here and stanky for Uncle Jerry. They are like, oh, we don't have any pirates here. I was like, well, tighten up your game. Aren't the pirates from Pittsburgh? Come on, Alex! We gotta get some base runners, is what you need to get, because this pitcher ain't no joke right here. That's Brazelton? Or who is this right here? I know Conrad Dennis on that team. Conrad Dennis playing short. Uh, great. Yeah, that's. We are back from our break, going into the bottom of the first. Score 1 0. Astros take the lead. And we are waiting as the pitcher warms up for the Astros and the Pirates take on. The Astros batter tonight is Lewis Brazelton on the mound and Drew Friedel behind the plate. Drew's
Andrews, a real athletic player, great arm. Leading off for the Pirates, Alex Grange, number seven. He hit 500 this year with a 750 slugging. Wow, 500. Yeah, pretty, pretty incredible. He's real fast, great athlete. Goes by the nickname Stanky Leg. Stanky Leg, I like that. If you ask him, he will do the Stanky Leg dance for you. <laughs> he is addicted to popcorn and the house party app. An awesome note is he's already the CEO of a company. He founded Grange Auto Company when he was six years old to sell luxury cars. So if you're in the market, ask him for his business card. I'm actually in the market myself, so I might ask for his business card. Let's go, Stanky! As you can hear the fans yelling for Stanky. <laughs> Come on, baby. Uh, unless it's there. Here we go to the first pitch. Got a boy, Stank! Both for, first pitches for both teams are a ball. Special circuit. Attaboy, Stank! Oh, what a catch from the what third baseman. a play by Hunter McClatch. Alex Bregman's got nothing on him. Let's go, hustle! Ball was hit hard. McClatch made a great play. First out of the game. Oh, uh, I mean for the, for the Pirates. Up next is Cooper Hutchison. Cooper at 514 this year. Really had a great season. Nicknamed Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse. He, and he's knocked out his front teeth three different times. That's a hit. Atta boy. Rip up the middle to left center field. Oh, that's a beautiful drop right there. Come on. Save that second for a double. Up next is Walker Hot Sauce Adams. Atta boy, Coop. Let's go, Walker. Come on, Walker. Go, Walker! Go, 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 go! Pass ball. Walker, when he's not playing baseball, loves taking care of his bearded dragon. He uh, also collects baseball cards and enjoys playing wiffle ball with his neighbors. Walker is also the epitome of swagger. <laughs> Stay. Good eye. Good boy, coach. That's his dad, right? Yeah, that's his dad. Two and zero count with one out. Two balls and two, it's two like for sure fire balls. Thank you. Scoreboard was messed up. They said one and one, but the was in the dirt. It is two and oh. Walker! 3-0 count. A little fake bunk. Tried to get a ball. It was a 3-0 count. He wasn't swinging. One did not phase Lewis. That's a foolproof plan right there. 
Ball four. First and third. Walker's probably going to take off and go to second right here. Oh, he's going to, there you go. There it is. Great play by the, by the Pirates. Coach Hutchinson is a very aggressive base running coach. You're going to see a lot of that tonight. Come on. Oh, oh, tag up. Oh, nice catch. Go, go. He's stuck. Oh, he's safe. Drop the ball. So Matthew Dang was who hit that out to left field. Left fielder made a great play. Cooper Hutchison did not tag up. He was halfway, so he, he had to come back so and then get caught in the rundown. So close to getting out. But the third baseman drops the ball. So you still got man on second, third, two outs. Next up to bat is Jake Gentle. This is Dennis? No, I'm sorry, Dennis Pierce. Pierce Dennis. <laughs> I'll get it right one of these days. Pierce Dennis is up to bat. Pierce hit 313 this year. Had a good season. You know, an interesting fact, I mentioned Coach Hutchinson's pretty aggressive. In their season opener against the Dodgers, they had zero hits, but won six to five. <laughs> wow. That's, that's, that's an amazing stat. There he goes. Strike three looking. Trends two runners on base on second and third. Now it's up for the for the Astros to see what they can do for the for the second ah. inning. Yeah, it's tough not getting that run home to make it one to one. <laughs> the pass game that was uh, producing, uh, if, I'm if I'm not mistaken, there was a lot of stranded bases. It was like every inning there was stranded stranded bases for both oh, teams. Yeah. You just have either you have the luck or you, or you don't have it, and I guess uh, for that. For those teams, the, the luck wasn't really there. Yeah, the Miners game before this was pretty exciting. Mudcats coming back to win, bottom of the sixth inning. But to your point, there were a lot, a lot of men stranded on base. Final score of that game was 10 and nine. Four lead changes, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. That's it correct. was four lead changes. By the looks of it, this game could be anybody's game also. Either we play tomorrow or that's it for the for the Astros. Yeah, the Pirates have scored. I don't have the stats in front of me, but they have scored a lot of runs this playoffs. So they're not stressing yet. Four more at-bats. Astros are going to need to score definitely more than one to win this game. For sure. So Tommy's still pitching, a little debris in the outfield. We've got Matthew Candola up to the plate right now. Candola hit 356 this year with a 408 on base average. Nice. 
one and one. Took a hack at a high one. Helped Tommy out on that one. One, two count. Just outside. Come on. Can he beat it? No, he can't. First out for the Pirates. Good play by Gentle over there, second base. Ball came up on him, he stayed with it. Up next to bat is Porter Cyrus. Porter at 341 this year. There he goes to Hague. Passes third. Makes it to first. Would he go over? No, he doesn't. He saved that first. Yeah, great defensive play getting to the ball. Looked like it hit off a hot sauce's glove there at third. Maggi stayed with it and had to make a hurried throw. Cyrus is safe at first. Next up is Griffin Lewis. Griffin hit 300 this year. He's got a lot of pop in that bat. Oh, and I love his nickname, Big G. Big G. His favorite, he loves to play football, and his favorite restaurant is the Buffalo Grill. Yeah, Tommy's probably going to go inside outside with him. What a hit down the middle, bounces off the second base. If it wasn't for that bounce off the second base, it would have been more. Hard hit ball right up the middle. That's what most of these coaches tell these kids. Just hit it up the middle. Should work out. Up next to bat is Will Thompson. Will Thompson. Good all-around athlete right here. He has a lucky outfit, if I'm if I'm reading this correctly, for a superhero underwear during the games. Speaking of lucky outfits, the Astros, if I remember this correctly, if the rumor is right, have not washed their uniforms this entire month. I'm sure their mothers are very happy about that. <laughs> Did not go for the off speed in the dirt. <laughs> one, two count. Good stop by Hutchison behind the plate to keep that in front of him. Now one out. <laughs> A little bit of confusion for the batter, but yes, that is strike three. The second out. Two outs, man on first and second. And we have Andrew Scales coming to the plate. Scales' favorite vacation was a trip to Washington, D.C. <laughs> Probably one of my bucket list places. It is a neat town. And a boy, Tommy! Straight to the pitcher, and just like that, he is out. No runs again. Now the Pirates are coming back to the plate. Both teams seem equal. If I'm, if I'm trying to say it right, they're equal playing wise. They are. They've got two 12-year-olds on the mound that have great confidence, great pitchers, great athletes, great mindset. They both have great catchers and then a good defense behind them. That's why, that's why they're both here at the championship game. As you mentioned, the Astros are coming out from the loser's bracket, and the Pirates have been, have been just killing it recently. So it's, it'll be interesting to see if the Astros can live up for the win so they could play tomorrow's game. 
Yeah, you know, there's a lot to be said about playing a lot of games. And when you come through the loser's bracket, you might not have all the pitchers available for tonight's game that you want. But the Astros definitely playing it properly with Brazelton being able to throw. And their batters have seen more pitching. While the Pirates have been just practicing for the last week, the Astros have been playing games. So a lot of times this first game does go to the loser bracket team because they've just been playing more baseball lately. They get all the reps in that they need, the actual reps. Exactly. Gets past the pitcher, throws the first, and this does not make it in time. Goes off the glove of Big G. And that's Jake Gentle up at the plate. Up next is Jack Maggi, number six shortstop. Pitch. Swung at a high fastball. 2 1 count. These two pitchers, as I mentioned, they're equally matched. That, that's the word I was trying to look for. Equally yep, matched. They are. A little bit high. 3 1 count. Got a runner on first, no outs. Oh, foul ball. Full count, three, two. Gentle at first is fast, the ball goes in the dirt. He might be taken off. Swings at it, goes straight down the middle. Center fielder slips. He slipped off his glove. Runner goes to home. Will he make it? Yes, sir. Gentle scores. Maggie gets a triple. What a great hit by Maggie. It was a great hit. Center fielder was adjusted to the ball. The ball kicked a different way, and his feet just came out from underneath him. Tough bounce. Let's go, Tommy! It happens to the best of us. Now up to plate is pitcher Tommy Croswell. As you mentioned earlier, Tommy boys up at the plate. Eats bell peppers like an apple. Man, that's impressive. Wow, I can't even do that. Got a man on third, no outs. Just foul. Wow. Hard hit ball down the third baseline, just foul. That was either an EFIS pitch or a curveball that got away from him. <laughs> High for ball one. Here comes the pitch. One, two count. As the Astros are trying to 
search for their first out of the inning. I guess Lewis didn't like that pitch. Wants a different one. Maybe it's a little cat and mouse game with Tommy. Trying to make him wait. Make him think about it. Mind games. I like it. Yeah! Yeah! There you go. That goes oh. over him. Let's go! No, over go. the right fielder's head. Goes the second. Oh. Starts an the third. easy stand up triple unless Chris is going to do something aggressive. Yeah! Oh, the ball hit. Lewis in the mouth. We got a timeout. I don't think Lewis was ready for the ball to come his way. I hope he's okay. These games are really, really competitive, but I think the main priority is uh, the safety of, of the kids. That's the main priority for any sport in general. It is, and that, that's unfortunate. Like I said, I just don't think he was ready for the ball to come back his way. Caught him wrong right in the face. Like he's going to stay on and see that he is okay. That's a good sign. Mm -hmm. Next up to bat is Hudson Hamilton. Hudson, an 11 year old, playing up in the majors this year. Real good pitcher. Nickname Big Mellow. Big Mellow. He likes to go fishing and do activities where he can sit down for long stretches of time. So Hud's not pitching right now, but he threw 36 innings and, and got 60 strikeouts. Strike one, swinging. Comes to pitch. Swinging a miss, strike two. Wind's picking up. It's blowing from right to left. Not good for a lefty. Try to go for that third out in a row. The, I mean, third strike in a row, but it's one, two. Yeah, no like outs with the runner on third. Looks like they're staying outside on them. Way good catch by Friedel. Keep that ball in front. Now, I'm not sure if he has it tonight, but we found out that he once pitched in a championship game with a homemade cardboard gun strapped to his leg by black electrical tape hidden underneath his uniform for good luck. <laughs> that is definitely a first. Gets past the pitcher, past the second fielder. Nice at bat for HUD. Ground ball right up the middle, squeaks past the second baseman. Run scored. Scores 3-1 in favor of the Pirates. 
Next up is Will Conrad, number four. Goes another hit for the Pirates. It goes over, actually, it's caught. Yeah, landed right in front of the right fielder. Another hit, man on first and second. Next up to bat is Jack Weatherly. Catcher comes up, talks to the to the pitcher. It seems like hey, trying to get a little chemistry going on. Maybe it was lost. So Weatherly only eats burgers, pizza, hot dogs, croissants with Nutella. With Nutella, wow. He squares away to butt. He attempts it. Foul ball. So this again is where, with no out, Hutchinson's going to be aggressive to get these runners over in scoring position, a second, third. Let's see if the the bunt didn't affect him, at because after the bunt, he was shaking his hand a bit. And it doesn't affect him at all. He puts all. a ball in play, gets past Lewis at pitcher. He just is like, safe. Just like that, bases are loaded for the Pirates with no outs. No outs. A little dink like that. Next up is Charlie Barrett, number nine. Favorite food is pizza, and he loves to fish. Let's see if he can fish a hit here. He squares away to bunt, pulls it back, strike one. Swing and a miss, strike one. That was strike two, I'm sorry. With the bases loaded, I really I would really like to see a grand slam. I would really like to see it. You know, with these with these bats, four years ago we probably would have seen one. But home runs are few and far between. Pass ball, but doesn't go too far. Uh oh. He slips. He slips. Third baseman goes to home, and he makes it in time. As the first baseman goes to second. So Conrad is out at second, but Hud scores at home on the throw to second while he was getting tagged out. So now we got a man on second. One out. Four to one. Good news for the Pirates, though, is they're going to turn their lineup over and get back to the top of the lineup in the second inning. Good hack by Barrett. Goes Aubrey into the trees. <laughs> Comes the pitch. Pretty short. I guess it slipped out of his hand. They didn't. Yeah, bounced up there. But again, Drew Friedel's looking really good behind the plate, keeping that ball in front of him. Two-two count. There goes a hit. Get past third baseman. It gets past Big G. Second goes to third. Great stop by Conrad, and then just threw it too low for Griffin to dig it up. Man on second and third, one out. Now we're back at the top of the lineup with Alex Grange. Let's see if he can do the stanky leg at this at bat. I believe his walk-up song should be the stanky leg. It really should be. Curveball in the dirt. Good stop by Drew. Saved another run. Drew calls timeout to go talk to coach. Looks like they're getting mixed up on the pitches a little bit. 
I was thinking because um, all of like the restrictions with COVID and all that are getting like lifted. It just it's great to see people out in a baseball game. It's out to be at a baseball game at this time. Last year we could not have that at all, but now it's little by little we're 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 getting back to to normal. We are Get, having all these boys seasons cut short last year was was a travesty, and uh, it's good to see them out here playing championship games today, getting the whole community, the whole pole fan base out. Two zero count. comes the pitch. Another curveball. Slips out of his hand a little bit. Comes in high. They can't afford a walk. The Astros can't afford a walk here. No, walk would not be good. In the dirt, Weatherly's running home. Drew slides. Safe. Picked it in time. First goes to second. It goes oh. over him. Charlie Bears going home. To get Grande. Everybody home. Inside the park home run. And just like that. Just like that. Couple bad throws. Six to one Pirates. That's tough. Bottom of the second. Pirates are leading six to one. It may not it may seem like it's over, but I mean I w I've been mistaken before, like the 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 minor league game. It was see it seemed pretty over at first, but I mean look at that they came back to win at the bottom of the of the sixth. Yeah, Pee Wee minors both those games were back and forth lead changes. Yeah, the pitching change. That's tough for Lewis. He pitched a great game. Put the ball in play. Did what he needed to do. Conrad Bennett is going to come into pitch. From shortstop, Lewis Brazelton will go to third. This is what the Pirates want. Get through their lineup. It's 7-1. to one. They've got their two-hole hitter up. I think there's two there's two people I want to thank it's you know the post oak community for having such an amazing like tournament and everything like that and mother nature for allowing us to actually have these games today because it, they've been they've been announcing there's gonna be raining for the, for the next week or so yep and that was gonna start today but mother nature said I want these kids to play some championship baseball so thank you, Mother Nature. <laughs> Crowd's picking up around here too. Get a little rowdy. Had parents out here all day. <laughs> <laughs> Especially out in the sun in the in the morning. Yep. All right, so we got Cooper Hutchison coming to the plate. He enjoys yelling Kawabunga. 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 Let's see if he'll be yelling that after this at bat. As you can see, Conrad brings it. Throws hard. He hides the ball well, too, behind his body when he throws. Makes it hard for the batters to pick it up. Ooh. Foul ball our way. As you mentioned at the beginning of the game, the hats that the umps are wearing are pretty 
are pretty interesting. Can you can you tell us a bit about it again? Yeah, so in 2018, the Postal Little League team made it all the way to the Little League World Series and represented the Southwest region. And those uh, orange and yellow hats were the hats they wore. Um, Postal Little League, all the parents and the fans are very proud of those boys. Almost hit him, or it did hit him. As he flips the bat pretty yeah, really high. He's touching his face. Looked like it hit that flap right by his mouth. Good thing he has that flap to protect him. It's good to see him walk to first. Yeah, he's a tough kid. They're not going to be able to pull him out, even if he's bleeding and he lost a couple teeth on that. Like the three front, maybe it could be uh, the fourth time. Fourth time he knocked out his front teeth, right? <laughs> Coming up next is Walker Hot Sauce Adams, Mr. Swagger himself. Mr. Swagger. Maybe I can get some tips from him. Yeah, I got the privilege of uh, being able to coach him last year in minors with his dad, Coach Brian Adams. Our season got cut short. We really felt like we were going to win it all. I've been hearing some amazing stories about having the best season and but getting cut short. Yeah, at the beginning of the game, we honored the Red Sox for being the regular season champions, best record, and uh, double elimination. They lost their first two games in the playoffs, so anything can happen out here. Swing and a miss. And same thing with, with all the other leagues, minors and peewee. The top-ranked team, it's tough. You get that target on your back, and everybody's coming after you. Oh, yeah. Gets away from Drew a little bit. A three Keeps it by him. We got three one count with one out and a runner on base. Walker's an aggressive hitter. Good save there. Full count? 2-2. Two, no. two. Correction, 2-2, two, two, yeah. 2-2 two, two count. He's protecting the plate, keeping this a bat alive. Did not go for the ball in the dirt. Good eye. Now we got a full count. Full count, one out, man on first. Pirates leave seven to one. There goes the hit. Nice Down hit. The middle. From our eye, this seemed like it slipped from his hand, but luckily the second baseman grabbed it. Candola saved him on that one. That was real close. That was a hard hit ball by Walker. Good play by McClett to stop it. But yeah, it did look like it slipped out of his hand on the exchange to second. Got Matthew Dang at the plate. He hit that big fly ball to left field last inning. That was caught. Nice catch by G. Pop up to first base in foul territory, and he comes up with it up against the fence in the dugout. Great catch. Pretty rough inning for the Astros, but they they do have a chance. To it is not up. over. It they is not over. Only down by six. Early in the game, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Tommy Croswell's back on the mound warming up. As he's warming up, I think we should take a quick break. You're listening here at Vibe Live.
and welcome back to the major the post O little league major championship game between the Astros and the Pirates with the score seven to one going into the third you know coach Brazelton and coach Friedel are amazing coaches and I know they just talked to their boys in the dugout and told them that this is not over we knew we had to score more than one run if we were gonna have a chance to beat the Pirates so I think they're gonna have them coming out hidden couldn't have two nicer guys coaching a team as you mentioned they're they, they have some playoff history though they the co they coach the same boys against each other in the 2017 Pee Wee playoffs that's right Hutchison and Brazelton these two coaches did face off and it went Brazelton's way up next is Ford Bennett hits a ground ball to second base clean 4-3 play First out for the for the Astros. Up next is Aaron Smith. Aaron hit 212 this year. On base percentage of 333. His favorite vacation spot was was China in 2019. Little dribble down the third baseline. Kept going foul, stayed fair. Walker Adams tried to barehand it to make a quick play, and it just goes off his fingertips. Maybe that's the little mo momentum that they need so they can pick it up. Here's Conrad Bennett. He does have an opportunity in the power to hit a home run. Curveball. He's out in front. It's a good start by Tommy. Working backwards on him. We've been seeing a lot of curveballs for this game. Through another one. Foul. He's early. He's got two strikes on him. So when picks up. Hutchinson throws down to first, try to throw behind the runner at first base. Another curve ball, Conrad sits back on it, launches it to left center field. Hold him at third, man on second and third, great double by Conrad, great hit. What Stayed a, back on that curve ball. Yeah, like you said, what an amazing hit. This goes all the way down through the third third base side. Maybe that, that they're getting the momentum that they needed. That's it, Drew Friedel's up at the plate. It's definitely somebody I'd want up to bat with two men on, one out. Aggressive hitter here. Close. Ball one. He has two home home runs in his stats, and he maybe he he gets a good swinging because he's an avid golfer. That's it. Good hand eye coordination. There's a golf swing there. Ball in the dirt. One ball, one strike. Two runners on base, second and third. Just high. Got a tight strike zone right now. Two one count. Oh, what a catch! Wow. Double play. What a catch. Line drive to Walker Adams, snags it, touches third, double play, inning killer. Wow. Hot sauce, what a play. That's where he got the niggas in hot sauce from because he's hot. <laughs> wow, what a – I have no words for that play. That yeah, was great. Those are the kind of plays that uh, you look back on and uh, it's part of the reason why you won. It's not just about how many runs you score, but – Making plays like that, preventing the other team from scoring, kills the inning, kills momentum. Great play. The sun's finally starting to come up after a long day. Yeah, the sun's peeking in behind us. Heaven's shining down on us on this beautiful day. Going to the bottom of the third. 
your score is 7-1. Astro, nah, Astro, I'm sorry, Power is on top. But just because it's 7-1 doesn't mean that the game is over. No, it could be anybody's game. Coach Hutchison will not let up. He will keep the medal. Pedal to the metal on this one. Pierce Dennis is your first batter. Conrad Bennett still on the mound. An update on the on the Houston Astros. The score is still four to one, going to the bottom of the fifth. All right, here we go. Pierce Dennis at the plate. Strike one. Pierce Dennis, nickname PDQ. PDQ. One and one. I've been noticing uh, throughout these games that there's a lot of kids that they they do play baseball, but they they have a different love of a of a different sport. Like PDQ, his first sport love was hockey, and he was taught and he taught himself how to skate when he was four. You know, you don't hear a lot of hockey players down here in Houston. No, not at all. Good for I him. Mean, I mean, uh, up in the Dallas region, you know, you have the Dallas Stars, but other than that, that's it. Well, Pierce, just think of it as a slapstick and hit it. Ball four. Next up is Jake Gentle. Ball one to Jake. Jake, not so gentle, gentle. That's a creative nickname. And he rides motocross. Favorite food is peanut pasta. With pecorino and cheese. I don't know if I know what Picorino cheese is. It's the first time I actually hear about huh. it. Huh. I'm going to have to Google that later. Might be missing something. So three balls, no outs, man on second base. Ball four. Man on first and second. You got Jack Maggi coming up. Maggi smoked one of the outfield last at bat. bit too high. Runners advance the bases. Second, third, no outs. That was a good hack. Just missed it. It was a good pitch by Conrad. And it's a foul. Just foul. 
Bennett's got him with two strikes and one ball right now. Let's see what he does. This would be a good out to get right here. Ball in the dirt, good stop by Friedel. Friedel's looked real good behind the plate tonight. Stopped a lot of balls in the dirt. A couple has gone past him, but overall he's he's kept it in front of him. Full count. Two runners on base, and no outs. Another ball in the dirt, stopped by Friedel. Base is loaded, no outs. And coming to the plate is Tommy Croswell. Big, strong kid. Drew and Conrad go to talk. Get a little game plan going. It's good by Drew to recognize his pitcher needs a little talk, calm him down a little bit, get yeah. him refocused. Yeah, because I mean, like for the Astros, it's the winner go home game, and yep. like he feels like there's a lot of pressure on his shoulders. It's a lot of pressure for a 12 year old, 15 year old, however old you are. This is a lot of pressure. Strike one, strike two. Talk helped, talked, talked him down. Just thrown two great pitches in a row. Man, just a bit too low for, yeah, the, smart. for one ball. Two strikes on Tommy. You do not want to throw a strike. Let's see if he comes at him right here. Tommy hits it to center field. High ball. Caught by the center fielder. There goes the tags. Runners tag up, advance. Only able to drive in one run, so the score is 8-1. to one. Astros through second base to see if Gentle did not tag up. Umpires say he did. So one out. Men on second and third. It is eight to one, Pirates. Now up to the plate is Hudson Hamilton. Ball one outside. I wonder if he's wearing the cardboard gun strapped to his leg. I'm time. curious. We're going to have to talk to him after the game. Big hack by HUD. Swing and miss. Good pitch by Conrad. Yeah, 2 1 count. Close. Ball for ball three outside. Three and one count. One out. Strike looking on the outside corner. Full count. And he called that strike three. Must have caught some black on the corner. Now plate number four, Will Conrad. Two outs, man on second and third. Foul ball over the first base dugout. Pretty nice foul though. Yeah, it was a good swing. Just a little late.
one and one count. Another good swing. Over the net, into the trees. Conrad's got him down. One ball, two strikes. Two outs. Ball in the dirt. Oh, there goes Nuts with General running. Yep. And he makes it on time. Wow. Hutchinson trying to see if they're sleeping. <laughs> he tested him. He tested him. They almost got him out. Like I said earlier, Hutchinson likes to play those games. Oh, yeah. Get you thinking. You cannot sleep on him. I mean, that is his nickname. Jake, not so a gentle, a gentle. Strike three looking. That ends the third inning. Head to the top of the fourth, eight to one. Pirates. As we're switching innings, uh, I think it's a good time for us to go. It's a little break here at the scores, eight to one in favor of the Pirates. You're listening to us live on Vibe Live. Welcome back. Tommy Croswell still on the mound. Top of the fourth inning. Pirates lead eight to one. The Astros are leading off the inning with Hunter McClett at the plate. Their three hole hitter. Hunter made a good play last inning at shortstop. Good all around athlete. Fun fact about Hunter, he's a huge Justin Bieber fan. Is he now? I believe so, but I'm trying to figure out now if it's the old Justin and the new Justin. Well, we might have to have a talk with him about that after this game. Swing and a miss. Good pitch, good swing. This is a big inning for the Astros. They need to put some runs on the board. Keep it close. Curveball. Good curveball by Tommy. Pop up, can he make it? Yes, he can. Caught. What a play by Cooper Hutchison. McClett fouls it off over into the foul territory by the first base dugout. And Cooper runs, slides, and makes a catch up against the fence. One out. Up next to bat is Gordon Young. He loves, he loves to play lacrosse and he likes rap music. It's good to see the Astros still being aggressive at the plate. Curveball. One one count. 
<laughs> Looks at strike two. Ball in the dirt. 2-2 two, two count, one out. Strike three looking. <laughs> Next up to bat is Lewis Brazelton, Astro starting pitcher tonight. Lewis hits it to second base. Fielded cleanly. Three up, three down. Good inning by Tommy. As we go into the bottom of the fourth, it is eight to one Pirates. Yeah, you can see the the two different moods on each bench. The Pirates are more like they're more electric compared to the Astros. They seem a bit, you know, down, thinking like the season's over for them. But it's still it's still early. Like like I know it seems it seems pretty close to call. I'm uh, not close to call, but you know, I mean, not seem like it's working for them. But hey, like if they if they can actually get it together and like put in some runs, they can actually uh, come back come back and win this thing. Oh, it's still not over. The Astros still have two opportunities to hit. And as I, I mentioned before, Lewis threw. Six scoreless innings against the White Sox. That was a zero to zero game going into the six, and the Astros scored five runs with two outs in the sixth inning. They had two outs on them, and they scored five runs. So the Astros can hit. They just need to stay confident, stay loose. To your point, the Pirates look real loose right now. Let's see how they hit here. Coming up to the plate is Jack Weatherly, number 14. Jack Weatherly has an on-base percentage of 2.94. I'm sorry, 0.294. One one count. Swing and a miss. Strike. Swing and a miss. Strike three. I guess the scoreboard was wrong on that one. Had two strikes on him. Up next is Charlie Barrett, number nine. Charlie got a hit last at bat. Good pitch by Conrad. Low fastball, keeping it at the knees. There goes the Astros waking up a bit. Another strike. Conrad's going right at him. Oh, over his head. One ball, two strikes, one out. High, just high. That was a good pitch. Two, two count, one out. Seems like Astros pitcher finally got his momentum. He's Now he's trying to keep it. Inside, full count. Conrad needs to bear down right here. Throw himself a strike. Right down the middle, strike three. There you go. Coming up to the plate, leadoff hitter, Alex Grange. Stanky leg. Yeah, I just, now I've got, do the stanky leg. <laughs> do, I'm just, just stuck in my head. It's gonna be stuck in my head all night.
little dance move there. Get away from the ball. Ball one. <laughs> Down the middle. Strike two. One and one. One and one. I'm sorry. Took a hack just a bit late on that swing. One, two count with two outs. Nobody on base. It's a pitch. Off the end of the bat. Grounds to second base. First. And gets just out. beats him. Ground J is fast. Well, that concludes the fourth inning. Eight to one, Pirates. Going into the fifth inning, the Pirates seem to be on fire as of as of late, as we, as we can all see. But the Astros still have a chance to come back. There's no end end to it. I mean, like like he mentioned, it could just take one good spark for for one team to actually go ahead and take it all to the very end and get the win. Yeah, it's an important inning for the Astros right here. Tommy's still on the mound. So far, Tommy has thrown four innings, given up five hits, one run, three strikeouts. He's thrown 54 pitches, 38 for strikes. That sounds great. Yeah, no, he's, ha he's having a good game. Only one walk. It's probably the more important stat right there. Pitch. Big swing. Foul. Matthew Candola up at the plate. As the wind picks up, heavy wind from right to left field right now. Seems like the wind always picks up when the lefties are batting. Good hard hit to the second baseman, Dennis, who throws it to first base for the first out of the inning. And just like that, the wind's gone. And now that there's not a lefty at the plate, the wind is gone. Coming up next is Porter Cyrus. Average of 341. And 10 RBIs this year. Ball one. If I'm reading this correctly, his favorite baseball player is Ronald Acuna Jr. There's a strike. One one count. Takes a hack, hits off the handle, into the first base dugout. <laughs> Another foul, back of the plate.
Strike three swinging. The Pirates throw it around. Griffin Lewis is coming up to the plate. Let's see if Big G has something in him so he could put some points up for the for the Astros. Griffin Lewis is one for one today. Tommy starts him off with a curveball for a strike. It's a pretty nice curveball. It was a good one. There goes the hit, bounces off the floor, gets past second baseman. Good hard hit, past second base, right fielder stops the ball, keeps G at first base. Next up is Will Thompson. Will struck out his first at bat. Takes a hack, strike one. Yeah, this Pirates pitching has been a whole nother level. Like I can't even explain how high grade this has been going for him. Yeah, Tommy's been doing real good today. One one. Takes a hack, two strikes, one ball, two outs, man on first base. Will Thompson takes a hack, nice hit, center field. Center fielder fields it cleanly, keeps G at second base. Man on first and second, good hit by Will. Way to keep alive. Told you they scored five runs against the White Sox with two outs. This might be it. Andrew Scales coming to the plate. They're swinging. Strike one. They feel it. They feel it in them. It ain't over. Ball high. Hit to hot sauce at third, touches third for the third out. Good play by Walker Adams. As we go into the bottom of the fifth, the Pirates leave eight to one. Now you start to wonder if the Pirates can actually still put more points on the board. I mean, with the score eight to one already, it should be like said and done, but maybe the Pirates have some some energy left in the tank for them. Oh, they do. I mean, they're at the top of their lineup. Uh, Alex Grange was their last out, so they got the two-hole hitter coming up, Cooper Hutchison. So right now, Coach Hutchison and Coach Adams are telling them this ain't over. Keep getting after it. Put more runs on the board. Put this game away. Astro still have Conrad Bennett on the mound. Conrad so far has thrown two and a two innings. Given up one run, one earned run. He's walked three and uh, struck out four batters. He's got about a 50% strike percentage right now. This may be out of topic baseball related, but I like the way how the Pirates decorated their dugout. They got pretty creative with it. They did. They uh, The league gives them some freedom to decorate the dugouts for these championship games. And the Pirates definitely, uh, some might view it as overboard, but it uh, looks good. I mean, even though the R flew away, but it's it still looks pretty nice. Yep. Got two out count. Make that three out. Three o. Don't want to walk the leadoff hitter. Ball four. 
Cooper Hutchinson walks, goes to first base. These bat flips that I've been seeing from them are amazing. I just, oh, I just yeah. love to see the bat just go pretty like, like high. So Walker Adam looks at ball one. He's 0 for one tonight with a walk. Over his head, Cooper takes off to second. Drew throws down late. Just another good base running right there by Cooper. Saw the ball going into the dirt and took off. Ball high, ball three. Connor just needs to take a deep breath here. Start throwing some strikes again. There you go. 3 1 count to Walker Adams. No outs. One runner on base. Looks at strike two on the outside corner. Didn't look like Walker was happy with that call. Yeah, he, he just thought he had ball four. Yeah, he looked over to the ums and said, are you kidding me? Say what? In the dirt. Walker goes to fir first base. Cooper Hutchinson comes over to third on the pass ball. And Walker's heading to second. Just like that, second and third, no outs. Coming up to plate now is Matthew Dang. He's 0 for 2 on the night. Oh, I've been wanting to read this thing that he gave out. <laughs> Matthew Dang, I have no nickname and do not call me Matt. My mom, my mama did not name me after something. You wipe your feet on the floor. So I guess he's pretty adamant. Uh oh. Ball went right to the pitcher. Cooper and Walker did not advance. Out at first. One out. Great hustle by the pitcher to make the catch. Yeah, no, great defensive play right there by the Astros. Keep both runners at their bases, get the out. No one came home. Up next is Pierce Dennis. Pierce is 0 for 1 tonight with a walk. DBQ says his first professional game was an Angels baseball game, which is his, still his favorite team to this day. All right. Swing and miss, high fastball, two balls, one strike. Men on second and third, one out. Good stop by Friedel behind the plate, ball in the dirt, 3-1. Ball four, bases loaded. Coming up to the plate is Jake Gentle. Jake is 0 for 1 with the walk. Ball in the dirt, great stop by Friedel. And we got a lefty up, so guess what? The Here wind comes the is picking wind. up. <laughs> I don't know if you saw Adams at second base. He just did a flip to go back to, <laughs> to base. Swinging at a high ball. 1-1 one, one count. Gentle is up there hacking. He does not want to walk. He wants to get a big hit, get some runs in. Time on the field. Hutchinson's tying his shoes. Don't want to trip. Trying to go home. Pretty quick. Here we go. All right, here comes the pitch. Big swing. Strike two.
ball in the dirt, gets past Friedel. Hutchinson's going home. Throw is late. He is safe. Runners advance to second and third. Pretty good thing he tied his shoes. Exactly. Nine to one Pirates. All right, 2-2 two -two count, one out. Gentle hits the ball up the middle past the second baseman. Center fielder mishandles it. Both Walker Adams and Pierce Dennis come home. Ball gets past the catcher. Gentle is safe at second. Big hit. Wow. Big hit. Told you he wasn't looking for a walk. No, he wasn't. Up next is Jack Maggi. Maggi's one for one with a walk as well. Big hit to right field. That is time for the catch. Gets it on a Look, short hop. Runner goes to third. Would he go home? No, he doesn't. Runner on first goes to second. Big hit by Maggi. Bounce right in front of the right fielder. Right fielder did clean it, field it cleanly, and gets it home. Comes the coach for the Astros. Come talk to the pitcher. Maybe a pitch and change. It looks like a pitch and change. First baseman just ran into the dugout to get a different glove. It's a lefty Candola. Score is now 11 to 1. Bottom of the fifth with one out. With the runner on second and third. Conrad finishes his pitching tonight with three innings. Two hits, four runs, four earned, six walks, and four strikeouts through 81 pitches. So the real Astros again. Astros are still, the score is still four to one at the bottom of the six. Griffin Lewis goes to first base. Conrad Bennett's going to be playing short. Pitcher still making his last throws. Pitcher for the Astros is Matthew Candola, number 11. If I'm, if I'm being correct, his nickname is the Candy Man. His favorite baseball player is Aaron Judge. Tommy Carswell coming to the plate. Tommy is one for two today with two RBIs. So we got men on second and third. One out, 11 to one Pirates. Let's see if Tommy can keep this going. Matthew Candola is pitching lefty for the Astros. A little different look. Let's see how the Pirates handle this. First pitch goes it's a bit too high. The ball one. Tommy oh, Croswell well smokes swing. one to center field. Oh. Catches right. it. Off the fence. Runners advance. Two feet away from a home run. Wow, that was a great hit. Coach Brazelton had his outfield playing properly. Had him back up against the fence. Center fielder makes an incredible catch up against the fence and gets the ball in. Okay. 
Yeah. Gordy even, Young out there in center. Great even, catch. Even though he was it was caught out, it seems like the, the bench is pretty hyped about that hit. Oh, yeah. Get another run in. Hudson Hamilton's up to the plate. Got Maggi at third. Two outs, 12 to one. And I'm sure Tommy's going to be talking about that one for a while, how he almost hit a home run in the championship game. Oh, yeah. Hudson Hamilton takes a hack. One, two count. Hud takes a swing, strike three, swinging. That ends the fifth inning. We go into the six. This is it for the Astros right here. It is 12 to one. Make or break it. So I would imagine that they will keep Tommy in. He's got 71 pitches. He can throw 14 more before they have to pull him. 85 is the limit. Again, how many pitches does he have right now? So he's got 71 pitches right now. He's thrown 51 for strikes. Faced 22 batters, given up seven hits, only one run, one walk, and four strikeouts in five innings. Tommy's wow. had an incredible game tonight against a really good hitting team. So we will see what the Astros do here as they come up to bat. And uh, looks like Griffin Lewis, no, Ford Bennett. Ford Bennett will lead off for the Astros in the 11 hole, and then Aaron Smith, and then back up to the top. Yep, Tommy's still out there. They're gonna ride him, he's been working. Don't change it if you don't have to. Ford Ben is up the bat, as you mentioned, and it I think out of all the nicknames that I've seen, this one's probably my favorite. F two fifty. F two fifty. F two I mean myself I'm more of a of a Chevy guy, but I think F two fifty takes takes a kick on this one. Well when you got the first name Ford, right? It kinda fits and he's a big strong kid. I wonder if, if his friends ask him if he know, if he owns part of Ford. Right? We appreciate all the pole families for having Vipe out at all the games, filming the games throughout the season. We start with tryouts, filming tryouts. We film all the games, allow the families to watch the games throughout the season. And now we're live streaming all the championship games. It's been an incredible day, a lot of great baseball. We appreciate Post Oak Little League President Jay Kyle for having us out again this year. Here goes by, pitcher goes by the. Oh, oh, goes, oh, oh, that's two. It goes by two players. Goes by the second baseman and the right fielder, but the center fielder backed him up. So Ford stays at first base, but way to get it going. They're not going down. They are going to go down swinging. Up next is Aaron Smith, who's one for one tonight. And there is that F-250 power. Ball one. Aaron hits what the ball to hit. left field. Left fielder fields it cleanly. All right, Astros are at the top of their lineup. And the They're Pirates need to, to watch Tommy's pitch count. This is what the Astros want, get Tommy to 85 pitches so they have to put in another pitcher. There goes the Astros magic, they're working it. Up next is Conrad Bennett. Conrad's one for one with the walk today in an RBI. Takes a hack, foul ball behind home plate, hits the net. Get all the fans and the kids starting to uh, line up on the fence. Let's 
strike. Let's try to keep him on. They got to at least strike him out and get a double play to keep him on for the rest of the game. Curveball. Kenrod sits back on it. Shortstop goes off his glove. Great play by the shortstop. That was a tough play. It was a hard hit ball. Bad hop. Bases loaded. Drew Friedel coming to the plate. He's 0 for 2 today. Which means he's due. Drew is due. No outs. No outs. Bases loaded. This could be it. This could be it for the Astros. This, this is probably what they were waiting for. Ball in the dirt. At the very part. least, at least the Astros are making it exciting. They're not going down with their heads down. They are fighting right now. Party will reach his, his pitching limit soon. Yeah, it's what is he, 78 right now? 77 right now. Ball hit past a shortstop. Ford goes home. Aaron goes home. Great hit by Drew. It is now 12 to 3, Pirates. Coach Hutchison calls timeout, wants to talk to his team. There goes the there pitching goes Tommy. What threw, a, it, threw an amazing game. Great game. 79 pitches. Again, gave up 11 hits, three runs, four strikeouts, and now they are bringing in their lefty 11-year-old Hudson Hamilton. Great fastball, good off speed, tough from the south Paul side. Going, going back to Tommy real quick, if there was a if there was an MVP for the whole tournament, I think it should go to him for, for this performance that he put out tonight. He, yeah, no, Tommy pitched an incredible game. Went one for three at the plate, almost hit a home run. He's definitely got to feel proud of himself for his last majors game, assuming the Pirates win. Good all-around player. Pirates make a some defensive moves with Hudson leaving first base, going to the mound. Walker Adams goes from third to first. Maggie goes from short to third. And Tommy Croswell goes from the mound to short stop. Again, we got men on first and second with no outs. Have some dads standing around me. They were getting their keys, picking up their coolers, and uh, now they're not leaving. Seems like the pitcher's already done with his warm-ups. Yeah, Pirates are talking. Hud's done. He needs a throwdown. Typically no throwdown when you do a pitch change. Here we go, first and second, no outs. Pirates leading 12 to three. The Astros are on their last at bat. Coach Hutchison brings them all in. Gonna hype them up. One last talk. Just telling them right now, hey, those three runs don't mean anything. These two runs on the base don't mean anything. Just get an out. Throw strikes and get an out. All right, up to bat for the Astros. Hunter McClett swings first pitch, foul ball. Hunter's 0 for 2 today.
Ball in the dirt. Runners do not advance. Good stop by Cooper. Ball in the dirt gets past Cooper. Runners advance. But you gotta shake it off a bit. Hit to the Close short to stop. Tommy fields it. Was the first in save. Time. Save. Oh, but gets the runner on third. Tries to go to. Oh no! Oh! No. Wow! Well, I'm not sure what to say just happened. So Tommy feels the ball hit by McClett. Throws to first. He's safe. Friedel goes from second to third. Gets thrown out. And in the process, Hunter tries to get to second and gets thrown out. So just like that, there are two outs. That's unbelievable. Heads up defense by Pirates, where the Astros just trying to be too aggressive, trying to do too much right there. So we're going to miss strike one. Gordy Young at the plate. Gordy's one for two with an RBI. Into the ground. Wow. What a chain of events right there. Kind of feel the momentum of the Astros leave right there. Oh, yeah. They, it just shifted so quickly. Strike one, one and one. Two outs, 12 to three. Pirates. I believe it's one and two, but they haven't updated the, the board yet. Oh, foul, foul ball. ball. Now it's one and two regardless. <laughs> <laughs> we go right here one more strike the game is over and the Pirates take it a lot of pressure on Gordon right here curveball sits back on it hits it to right field for a hit man that's tough those runners don't move probably looking at two runs right there with no outs it would have been 5-12 to 12 with no outs Let's see what Lewis Brazelton can do here. He's 0 for 2 today. He's an avid, avid reader. Maybe he can read these pitches. Got ball one. A bit too high. Comes the pitch. Pretty high again, ball two. Got to give it to him also, he's a lefty. Pretty hard to throw regularly as a pitcher, but to throw with your left hand is an accomplishment in general. Pretty high again for ball three. Harris <laughs> had the momentum after that amazing double play. All right, ball three. Down the middle, strike one. There it is, strike one. Hutt's throwing so hard he keeps losing his hat after every pitch. Next season, he could probably go a size down. Yeah, might need to get a smaller hat next year. There, there goes strike is. two. Strike two looking, full count, two outs, 12 to four. There goes Maggie trying to hype him up. Like, hey, keep, all, keep her composure. Man on first base. Strike there you three, go. Strike looking three. for the game. Pirates win. Pirates win. Twelve to four. Watch the fans. Look at all these kids storm the field. This is what Post Oak Little League is all about, right here. This is an amazing sight. You got kids from Pee Wee age, minors, majors, juniors, all cheering the Pirates on a great win. Twelve to four win on an amazing breezy night. Not too hot, not too cold, just perfect. Well, congrats, Coach Hutchison, Coach Hamilton, Coach Adams. 
had a great season, incredible playoff run, and seal it off with the championship. Again, great pitching outing by Tommy Croswell. And good for the Astros, you know? They didn't give up, they came out swinging, they made it a game, made it interesting. Oh yeah, without a doubt. I mean, just to make it to the championship, it's it's already a big a big accomplishment in general. Absolutely. I mean, there's ten teams in this majors division. It's a double elimination playoff bracket. I mean, coming coming out from the from the from the losers bracket to make it to the, to the championship, it's it's just it's amazing. It is. Pirates ended the game with 12 runs on nine hits. Eight walks. Again, Tommy pitched an amazing game. Five innings, gave up 11 hits, four earned runs, and had four strikeouts. Hudson Hamilton came in to close, pitched one full inning, gave up two hits with one strikeout. On the Astros side, they scored four runs on 13 hits, had one walk, and five strikeouts against them. Well, coming up next, they're going to do an award ceremony. They'll honor the second place team first, the Astros. They'll announce their team, and then the Pirates will get their championship trophy. But to the Vipe crew that came out today, we thank you all. Long day, hard work. I think we only had one computer fry on us during that Pee Wee game. <laughs> yeah, it was the... It was, uh some issues that we had, but I mean, I've, after the Pee Wee game, everything got resolved. You know, it's amazing when the clouds come and your computers don't overheat, how everything works well. Oh, yeah. Big shout out to our sponsors, also Academy Sports and Outdoors, We're always having our backs. Yeah, Academy's a great sponsor of ours, all of our high school sports. And um, we don't do too much Little League baseball in our live broadcasting. So a little bonus for Academy being out here tonight. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I'd right, also like to thank Suna sitting at the office, making sure that we stay on the air. Merle for helping us get everything set up. Team effort here. Without those key elements in the team, none of this would have been possible. So shout out to all those people. And thank you to our uh, guest broadcasters today. We had Christian O'Neill in the Pee Wee game, Mark Janelle for the minors, Michael Heron for the juniors game. It's my pleasure to do the majors tonight. We will keep the cameras rolling while the Pirates celebrate. Take the picture underneath the scoreboard and then get their awards. Congratulations, Pirates.
out some trophies. Two great teams. Yeah. Let's go the Astros. I got, I got a hit on me. I got everything. Oh, it's good. Thank you. 